Can we talk about Peter? We can. What is going to happen on Monday? I truly don't know. And I got to say, really enjoying the unspoiled Me season. Me too. Working here, I get spoiled the first day things come out. Yeah. It's hard for me not to be spoiled um, in terms of like whether it's someone commenting on my Instagram mm-hmm. um, or friends. Uh, but I've really been enjoying not knowing. It's been fun trying to f- figure it out. Um, People are now thinking the theories like with his what color shirt he's wearing. They're saying that he's wearing the same shirt when he talked to Madison that he's wearing when he talks to his mom. Yeah. So his mom must be talking about Madison. Pe- pe- people should be careful about basing theories on, on wardrobes on the show. Uh, I've been sticking to my Hannah Ann theory. Oh, well, tell me. Um, my theory is uh, at some point Madison leaves, mm-hmm. uh, really shakes up Peter. That's why he's on the bed, like hyperventilating? Yeah. I know. Well, yeah, I'm... I'm January recently, uh, you know, she was on my podcast. Yeah. And oh, so, casual January Jones name drop. <laughs> uh, and she she sent me her theories, and I'm oh. like, she has to be convinced. She thinks it's Madison, but she has to be convinced that maybe it is. But my theory okay. was Madison leaves. Um, I don't know the details, but ultimately, uh, Peter's distraught over this. Meanwhile, Hannah Ann's just there being like, I'm doing everything right. right. And then she's finally like, you know what? Screw this. Yeah. I'm out. And then Peter is starting to like realize, oh, it's been Hannah Ann the whole time. It's always been you. It's always been you. Uh, and then he's kind of like begging for her. But oh, uh, you think? Well, I only say that because the other scenario that a lot of people think uh, seems almost too obvious of what the show right. is kind of setting up to setting us up to believe what happened is that Madison ultimately is like, I can't do this. And then he goes to Hannah Ann and it's like, Sorry, I got to chase the one I love. Kind of a Colton. It's right. kind of like Colton 2, 2.0. So it's kind of like, that's your big surprise. That's right. like the what's never never seen before finale. Yeah. We've literally seen last season. Yeah. And so I have a, I'm feeling like maybe it's got to be something else, right? That, that's kind of why I'm going against the grain. I've been saying this whole time it's going to be, do you ever watch Survivor? Or have you ever watched Survivor? I've never seen it. Okay. Well, on Survivor, they always end, and they film it like months in advance, obviously, but then they end with Jeff Probst like getting on a helicopter with the votes, and then all of a sudden it goes live. So they make it seem like he got on the helicopter to the live studio, but like obviously it was like six months before. Sure, yeah. So I think it's going to be like Chris Harrison, like, looking at the camera like what's gonna happen next and all of a sudden we're gonna be live and it's gonna be like we're gonna pretend like he hasn't been talking to these people this whole time well they kind of always do that but i think it's almost and i think kind of what happens and what and where and where it could be different is um madison let's say let's say it's madison Mm -hmm. that she's been spending these past several months like watching the show watching the show uh and then, like, AFR is going to be, like, her answer to Peter, whether she'll, like, be with him. After, which like, I'll be honest. If it plays out that way, I don't think that's a good look for Madison. You don't think? No. Come on. Let's, like, listen. She's like, has very strong convictions. She does. And good for her. And like I, like I even said on on, uh, on the Vile Files, just a shameless plug. Shameless plug. Um, I'm very in defense of... Uh, of of Madison and the criticism she's been receiving for like the timing in which she told Peter mm. uh, about her convictions. I think Peter clearly understood what she was saying. If he didn't, there's a problem. Yeah, there. <laughs> if he didn't understand. Like you didn't. You don't need to like spell it out literally. Yeah. I was. I I knew uh, without her saying it, and she certainly wasn't saving herself for marriage. But I I, I had a pretty good sense of where Vanessa stood about okay. me. It, you know, yeah, hooking not up with other hooking people. Hooking up with everyone and uh, then proposing. As, as anyone before her or everyone else, I've said this, it's like no one, Madison's no different than any other person who felt like they were the front runner. Mm-hmm. Um, but now it's like, you know, are, do you want to be here or do you not? Like if, if, if what Peter did is too much for you to handle, you know what? Totally fine. That's your, nothing wrong with saying, not for me, I'm right. out. But like, Coming back and then sitting in this relationship while like hanging over his head and kind of shaming from what he did, then it's just like, all right, now that's when we get into you know what you signed up for territory. Yeah, or like, or you just like you, or if you want to uh, uh, equate it to like a real life situation, it's like if someone wrongs you, fine, and you choose to take them back. Now it's like you can't keep hanging mm-hmm. over. Now that it becomes toxic and it becomes. Uh, like the person's constantly apologizing for something they did in the like you chose to forgive them forgive them it's like I, I, it will, I think it will be a bad look I think to be like oh well you know I watched it back and I don't know if right. I and like I don't know you have to like make it up to I don't know it's not a 
Well, you know what it's like to like pace, face like post bachelor, like trying to have a real relationship. Do you think Ray, um, Peter and Madison could actually like stand a chance? I don't know them at all. Um, I think it's hard for everyone. Yeah. Um, really, really hard. I <laughs> put it this way: if if it's Madison. And this time has been used to like help her clear her head. I don't think, I don't think it's gonna go well, right? Because like nothing we've seen out of Peter. I, I'm a I'm a Peter Stan. Oh know? really? I, I am. Tell I, me why. Because I just think being the bachelor is literally the hardest job in the world. I mean, that might be a slight hyperbolic <laughs> statement, but it's really hard. And uh, so much of like what we see or what goes on has to do with the women or that are not that he doesn't select. Um, um, he's forced in a situation like uh, and then chose to find his life partner mm -hmm. and all like you can criticize Peter as the bachelor, but you, it's hard to argue that Peter isn't genuine and sincere and, and earnest and just means really well and like those are qualities especially when you talk about like cleaning up dating and going mm -hmm. out there like peter's the type of guy you you, uh, you want to find truly i mean he's a he's a good person you know he is sincere he peter wouldn't send dick pics you know on the first <laughs> date he wouldn't ghost you you know um i definitely i don't definitely don't think he would ghost people because he, he has a hard time letting people go yeah and so it's just really hard to be the bachelor, but I, I think all you really want is an earnest, sincere person. That's what Peter is. So I'm, I'm defensive of, of him in that regard.